So what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. We are on our way down to Lumi's Motorcycle Cafe because we are running in the big dog. That's right, we've got the final few hundred miles of the run in for this, following Kalimoto. It's not going to be a super quick one, but it's going to be a fun one. We're going to do country lanes like this the whole way down, I hope. Fingers crossed. So join me on this one, we've got some things to discuss, but first of all, stick around for the titles. for sticking around, really appreciate it. We're going to address a few little things in this video. How I'm getting on with this bike and how it's compared to my old CRF 1100L. And it's surprisingly different. I never thought it would be this different, but it is. And also, I want to thank you guys for getting this channel up to 25,000 subscribers. That's right. We are on a quarter of a hundred thousand. I know, I'm like Carol Vorderman. Where was I? Yeah, 25,000 subscribers. So thank you very much, people. I really do appreciate it. Pat on the back to all you guys. This is your back, this is me metaphorically patting you on that back. So thank you. It means a lot, and it really does. I don't just say these things just to say them. It means a lot to me. The help that you guys have given me over the past few years and support has been absolutely immense. Twenty-five thousand, fantastic! Over five, I think five and a half million views. Brilliant stuff. I remember getting excited when I had a hundred subscribers and about a thousand views. I was over the moon. So you can imagine what I'm like inside now. It's taken a while to get here. I've kind of taken a year off-ish. It's been a bit of a downer the last year. Those of you that follow the channel, Instagram, etc., will know. But we are in a good place now we are really in a good place and a lot of that has to do with me obviously it has to do with me no. and i've got to say thank you to you guys for the support in that as well i really appreciate it it's been a tough year the last year again those that have followed me over the year will know i put a few videos out about men's mental health that i had to delete because it upset a few people and uh yeah i was on the verge of not getting sacked but there were people out there trying to use it against me for their own 10 minutes of fame let's say and uh, yeah it wasn't a nice period of time but I had to say it, I had to get it off my chest and thank you very much for the support during that as well and during the divorce yes it all went on again if you're new to the channel quick brief summary no I'm not chill out yeah do you know what I mean I will uh, I suppose it was depression, my mind went a bit doolally, got divorced, had a stroke, all that sort of thing. You know, full package, we went there. But now, we are fully on the mend. The brain is in gear, the body is getting in gear. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the journey I'm going through with the training, the weight loss, the building up the strength, the getting healthy. It's massive, it is absolutely massive, the change I've gone through. A lot of people think I'm talking shit, I don't mean any of this, I'm just saying it for the sake of social media, but you know what, I'm not. Haters are going to hate people, they're always going to hate, there's always that negative element on the social medias, and I kind of, I feel sorry for them, that's what I do, I feel sorry for them. I used to bite back, I still do every now and again, let's face it, I do like a little bit of sarcasm, but I tend to look at it a little bit different now. Now I've got my mind in gear, and I'm getting healthy, and I'm just quite confident in myself, because I lacked a lot of confidence back in the day hell of a lot of confidence i won't go into why but i just did now i'm getting a little bit of that confidence back we are getting a little bit of mojo back let's say 
and I'm enjoying it. I really am enjoying my life at the moment. We've had a few knockbacks in the past month, two months, and big knockbacks at that. But the mindset I'm in now, I'm able to deal with that shit now. I really am. Every day is a school day, every day I'm learning, every day I get up and treat it as a new day. It's a philosophy as in, it's all about now. What's happening right now. I can control now, I can't control the future, I can't control the past. I can control right now. And if you do think it's bullshit, you're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> as I said, what works for me might not work for you. But what I've found is it's much easier to be nice, it's much easier to be happy, and it feels good. That's the main thing. It bloody well feels good. And now I'm down in the gym and working out, getting trim, getting svelte, losing the weight, toning up. I feel better. I feel better in the mind. I feel better in the body. And I feel better in the soul if we actually own one of those. But I just feel better in general. So thank you very much for the support you've given me over especially the last year in all that on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and on here. Muchos gracias as they say in Spain, molto grazie as they say in Italy and cheers me old muckers as they say in good old London 10. Keep on keeping on people, keep on keeping on. Men's mental health is not discussed enough in general. It's kind of glossed over. That was my last video on mental health, the one I had to delete because, uh, yeah, I think a few people didn't like the home truths, but we're gloss over that. I feel sorry for them. I don't hate them. They don't even know that I know that they grasped me up. Well, not grasped me up, that they used my problems for their own benefit. They're actually still friends on my Facebook. They will never know that I know unless they watch this and then they might feel a little bit guilty. Or maybe they won't. They probably don't even care. They probably can't even remember. That's how little I meant to them. But what I was trying to say is that men's mental health is completely glossed over, especially in the workplace. It's just one of those things where they just put up a poster and that's all they have to do. They don't really care. It's all this toughen up, pull your socks up, man up, all that crap, you know. I said it in that video. I find it absolutely disgusting when people do that. And men have brains just like other people. And they all go wrong from time to time. Like any other part of the body, if it goes wrong, you need a little bit of treatment. So if you are a man and you're suffering, well, it doesn't matter if you're a man, if you're anything, even if you're an animal and you're watching this and you can understand what I'm talking about, if you're suffering and you feel like you've got some kind of a mental block, and I don't mean as in mental, I mean as in your brain's just doing something that you don't feel right with, go and seek some help, go and get some therapy. Trust me, trust me, it could be the best thing you ever do in your life. I've now got to the point where if I feel it's getting on top of me, if I think things are kind of, not spiralling out of control, but I'm getting a little bit on the sad side, I can take myself out of the situation, have a think about it, chill out, a little bit of meditation, not probably in the sense you're thinking of. I don't just sit there and do this, uh, hold on, let me do it. I don't do the, mm, I don't do any of that. I just basically clear my mind, chill. I know that's not hard, is it really? There's not a lot in there, let's face it. But I chill out, I sit on the sofa or chair. It could be anywhere. You don't have to sit on my sofa or my chair. You can sit on your own stuff and just rethink. Take a step back, have a little bit of a rethink about the situation. And at nine times out of 10 or nearly 10 times out of 10, it's not that deep as my uh, youngest daughter used to say. It is not that deep. And she's 100% right. Most things can be sorted out with a little bit of thought and a little bit of planning. But yeah, don't let things get on top of you because most of the time, they're really not that bad. I mean, some things obviously are. They take a little bit more thought process. That wasn't a red light, by the way. It was a field to green. Anyway, let's ride a little bit more and I'll tell you what I think about this bike in the first 600 miles.
exhaust is just beautiful. Sounds absolutely fantastic. And just to let you know, it is now available for sale. I know I had the Forerunner, the, I don't know what you call it, the preview, the prototype. It wasn't a prototype, it was the actual thing, but I was the first in the world to get it. Thank you very much, Fuel Exhausts up in Kendall for that. Appreciate it. That's right, you heard that, right. The world's first. So this stealth oval ceramic mini exhaust slip-on was first seen in the world on this bike. Obviously fuel exhaust, sorry before that, but I mean in public. Yet again, we had a world exclusive. And I'll say yet again, and I can't remember when I had a world exclusive, but I'm pretty sure I must have had one somewhere. This channel is that good that we must have had some world exclusives in the past. But this one I know is guaranteed because it says so on the website. I shall leave a link downstairs in the descriptions box and you can check it out there. What a beautiful route, Kelly Moto throwing up for this one. So far, so good. I've got 30 miles to go. It was 61, so I'm about halfway now. And I've got to say, this route so far has been pretty much like this the whole way. Beautiful. Let's go and have a little look down here. There seems to be a nice little lake there. I just want to check it out. I'm on the wrong side. The car park seems the other side, but I just saw a little footpath there. So let's go. Let's take that off because I know we're in the middle of the countryside. I still don't trust people. I am a Londoner at heart. <laughs> And there is no trust in the world when you're a Londoner. So take those as well. Oop, and fall down a hole. <laughs> There's a hole there. Be careful of that. Hopefully they're not dogging in his van. I'm not going to disturb them. But I'm pretty sure I saw a little footpath and I saw some water and I got excited. Where are we? Billingshurst Private Waters. Oh, yeah, it's much better over that side. There's a little jetty. Can't get through this way because they've locked it. They saw me coming. That's pretty tranquil, isn't it? Nice and chilled out. It's a shame we don't have access to more of this stuff in the UK. Everything seems to be privately owned. I mean, I could walk around and go that side, but <laughs> this side's privately owned. And unfortunately, not by me. Right, let's get back on the bike. And here she is, look at that. Oh, she's a beauty. She is a beauty. I'm absolutely loving this thing. I love my last Africa Twin, as you know, if you uh, watched the channel, but this one, it's moved it on again. It's brought it up another level. I know you're going to find that hard to believe because it's essentially the same thing, but just the little tweaks and the little things they've done for the Adventure Sport over the standard CRF and the modifications that I did to my last CRF as well has made this a much better tourer. <laughs> I stand by my judgment. That is sex on a stick. It's been quoted in Fuel's uh, website that I said that, and I stand by it. It is absolutely sticky and sexy. Sounds wrong, but yeah. By the way, if you have got one of these and you've got Apple CarPlay, once you've paired your Bluetooth headset, you don't have to have that Bluetooth headset on all the time. Once it's paired, when it comes up with do you want to pair, if you hold the back button here, down, it will pair with your phone but it ignores the Bluetooth. So you won't get any sound when it comes up on the screen. And what I normally do is my Bluetooth headset, my Cardo, is linked to my phone, so I get all the information via the phone rather than the bike. And that way it's a little bit sharper, a little bit clearer, less of a delay, but you still get all the information on the CarPlay screen. There you go, that's as clear as clear, isn't it? So let's get on with what I think of this bike. I absolutely love it, as I said back there. I really do. It's an amazing machine. I adored my last Africa Twin. 
and it was going out on a limb buying a new one plenty of you pointed that out same old same old but it's not it's not the same old same old this is a completely different bike being the same bike if that makes any sense probably not but then when does my channel make sense very rarely for the road this is so much better I mean the last one I put higher bars on I put the higher seat on I had the front mud guard raised I had a few little tweaks done to it but I've got to say this one with the normal seat even though I've got it on the high setting and standard bars in its normal position it handles so much better on the street it seems better balanced whether that's to do with the geometry of what I did with it but I don't remember my CRF 1100L even in its standard form handling as well as this does on the road the bigger tank and everything just it seems to sit better obviously it's better for touring because it's got a longer range I don't know if the wheels are heavier but they've got that cross spoke kind of configuration where you run tubeless tyres on this where the other one had tube tyres in so I don't know if having tubes in your tyres does anything towards the handling it probably does it's probably all scientific but this I've got to say even on these tyres now I wasn't a fan of these tyres when I had them on my last bike but on this they're much better there is still a little bit of slippage and sliding especially when you're coming out of a bend and you gun it even though I'm not kind of caning it too much we're only in sport two I can feel the back trying to break traction just a little bit it gets a little bit soft and squirmy I don't mind that after riding off road you kind of get used to the back moving a little bit I don't mind that but yeah all in all I like it I like the weather protection it's much better it keeps my legs out of the draft a lot more and this whole frontal area the screen as I said before could do with changing but at the moment I'm persevering with this little wind deflector and it does the job I've got it on its lowest setting at the moment and it stops the buffeting which is great I'm gonna get little wind deflectors for the side that I had on my last one and that seemed to break it up even more and that was nice so if I get those and this works I'll probably keep this screen and that little MRA uh, deflector on the top there but as I said although it's the same bike essentially the Adventure Sport version of the old CRF 1100L that I had it's different it feels different this feels more Tory more road based my old one felt a little bit more lively on the road not as in speed but as in it skittered about a bit more the old one I knew I had a 21 inch front wheel on there even when I put sticky tires on there I knew the front was a big wheel whereas this handles so much better on that front end I've still got to jack the back up a little bit stiffen the back to put a little bit more weight on the front because I do like a front endy bike if that makes sense I like to feel the front but apart from that I can't really fault it I cannot fault this bike I'll tell you what was weird when I first got it all my other bikes have had aftermarket heated grips whereas this has got the Honda one so the grips are the same width as they are a standard so I've been used to big chunky grips on all my bikes and when I got on this it felt like a BMX handlebar but now I've got used to it it's all right all I'm saying is when you're used to a little bit of girth in your hand when you do slim down to a, a thinner level you kind of notice it that's all I'm saying I prefer a little bit of girth but I'm used to this now <laughs> got a white van there for Andy Mr TMF I know he only watches videos with white vans in it's his fetish you see all right we're now in a, a little village called Hazelmere the only time I've ever been down here is uh, with Mr Spicy 110 so Hazelmere motorcycles am I coming up here? I think I am did I get that right? yeah the thing is with GPS systems and satellite navigation is everyone has their different little quirks so you have to get used to them there's a certain amount of distance before or after a turning where it kind of catches up so you get used to it here we are in Camel's Toe, Camel's Dale, sorry, my bad, if you live here, I do apologise.
Kalimoto has brought me down to Lumi's Cafe. It's been fantastic. There has not been one bad bit on it. We've had a few little villages, but I like villages. It's just nice and chilled. It's relaxing, beautiful to look at. The UK countryside is just stunning. It really is. It's beautiful when it's all green and lush like this. You can't beat it. Okay, you can. I need some heat. I'd love to have some heat. Hold on a minute. to get that out of my system obviously you can beat it with heat we get that I like the heat I like 20 plus anything below 20 is just not worth it <laughs> I'm a shorts and t-shirt kind of guy but you don't get this lushness when you get heat the south is a little bit busy a lot of traffic however this route today hardly any traffic whatsoever but it is a Monday that's why I don't really go out too much on the weekends on the bike because it's too busy. I like to just ride, I like a bit of flow. We've addressed this in the past, I like a bit of flow. Anyway, we're here now. We are at Lumi's Motorcycle Cafe, a Moto Cafe, it doesn't say Motorcycle Cafe, I'm just making shit up now. Kalimuto, Kalimuto, whatever that is, Kalimoto, Kalimuto, Kalimuto, the new app. Download it on uh, Android and iPhone, Kalimuto. It's a GPS system for cows. Anyway, Kalimoto all the way back. Just had a plate of chips or a bowl of chips or a plastic basket of chips and an iron brew. Start a diet tomorrow. I'll go to the gym tonight. It's not all bad people, it's not all bad. I was gonna go carb free this week, but I failed on day one. <laughs> but I just wanted to get out, I wanted to stretch my legs. Well, not stretch my legs, stretch the legs of uh, the Africa twin. So I thought I'd come down to Lumi's and uh, yeah. You're not gonna diet when you come down to a place like this, are you? Let's face it. But anyway, such is life, I enjoyed them. That was a nice uh, basket of chips actually. Nicely sorted, nicely cooked. Oh dear, I was quite impressed. I am easily impressed though. But for this one, we're gonna end it here. Thank you very much for joining me. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna leave a comment, leave that downstairs in the comment section. You know how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. Also hit that notification bell so you guys can get a drop on these videos. I shall see you on the next one. You know I love you all. Stay safe, fish out. Get on your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get gone. Get on your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get gone.